We have visa regulations left, right, and center. 27 countries in Europe today with 430 million people removed visas. We still have visas. Let me persuade us that it is time we in this continent realize that having visa restrictions amongst ourselves is working against us. When people cannot travel, when people cannot travel, business people cannot travel, entrepreneurs cannot travel, we all become net losers. I am very happy that we are now moving in the direction of eliminating visas amongst ourselves. Let me say this, as Kenya, by the end of this year, no African will be required to have a visa to come to Kenya. I am very proud that the intra-trade within the East African community is already at 27 percent because we have taken the deliberate decision to remove unnecessary tariffs and visa regulations. I am also very happy that my father here, President Sasun Gweso, when he came to Kenya, we agreed that there will be no visa requirement between the Democrats. Between, between Kenya and the Democratic uh, Republic of Congo Brazzaville. I am also happy, I am also happy that last month when we removed visa requirements for DRC, my brother, President Felix, Chisekedi also removed visa requirements for Kenyans to DRC. Let me urge us that we need greater collaboration. Our children from this continent should not be locked in borders in Europe and also be locked in borders in Africa. part of building the network that will ensure that we facilitate movement of people, goods and services within our continent. Kenya is going to open an embassy here in Congo Brazzaville this year. It's going to open an embassy in Cote d'Ivoire. We are opening an embassy in Rabat in Morocco. We are opening an embassy in Eritrea because it is time we realize the importance of trading among ourselves and allowing goods, services, people, ideas to move freely within our continent. And because of climate change, Africa this time round is not just a victim. In fact, Africa is not part of the problem. In fact, Africa is part of the solution. We are part of the solution because, number one, we have the largest 40% of all renewable energy resources globally is in our continent. We have 30% of all minerals, resources, globally, including the ones that are necessary 
and critical for the transition, for energy transition. Number three, we have 60% of the world's arable, uncultivated land with, which, with smart agriculture. We can feed not just ourselves, but we can feed the globe. Number four, 25% of the world's population will be living here. We have the youngest population at the median age of 19. 40% of the world's workforce will be from this continent by 2100. And let me say this, we have the natural resources, including the carbon sinks, and therefore we are the continent that's going to provide the solution for climate change and the existential threat that the world faces. But it will not, we will not make progress unless we act in concert, unless we work together, unless we build the Africa Union as a fit for purpose vehicle to carry the aspirations of all our young people in this continent and everybody in this continent. It is important for us to join hands and build a global financial system and work together to reform the international financial architecture. We need new financing that is going to make the World Bank, the IMF, to give us concessional financing so that we don't have to pay four or five times more than others, a fair financial architecture that treats Africa like all other continents is not too much for us to ask. And therefore, it is very important that we work uh, together in that space. And let me finalize by saying that includes the Pan-African Payment and Settlement System, which makes it possible for us in this continent to trade in our local currencies without having to look for this currency or that currency. Let me ask you, good people, what Afriexin Bank is doing to promote trade in our continent is something all of us leaders must support. I am saying this with a lot of passion because we have an opportunity of a lifetime to change the fortunes of our continent, of our people, and especially of our young people using this challenge we have, which we must turn into an opportunity. We must support the Hinga Dam here in DRC because it can give power to 12 countries in our continent. Renewable energy, we must never and we must not continue to export our minerals raw. We must process all our minerals here in Africa. We cannot continue. It is the only way we can create jobs for our young people. It is the only way we can turn the potential of our resources into opportunity. And it's the only way we can commercialize all the activities that we have. Working together is no longer an option. It is a necessary imperative. I agree with my brother that the choice is are we going to float together or are we going to sink? So collaboration, working together, is no longer an option. Our rulers partitioned our continent about 100 years ago. And they taught us two things using the borders. They, told us, they taught us about tariffs and they taught us about visas. Now,
whether you are talking about the British in Kenya, the French, Belgians, Portuguese, today all of them are members of the European Union. 27 countries. They don't have tariffs. They don't have tariffs among themselves, and they don't have visas. The only people left with the tariffs and visas is us. And because they saw the folly of tariffs on trade and removed tariff on trade among themselves, today in Europe, intra-European trade is at 70%, while intra-Africa trade is at 15%. Good people, it is the reason why we must accelerate the Africa Continental Free Trade Area. And, and unlock the potential that exists for African countries to trade amongst themselves. Mr. President, we value the fact that you have given us a platform to discuss the most urgent, most important aspects of our continent here in Congo Brazzaville. And we don't take this opportunity for granted. We want to say thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. And thank you very much to all who have come. Thank you very much. God bless you.